guys, so I am here to try and experiment with you that I don't know will work or not. Um, I am working on a doll for a friend um, of a character from a TV show, and this character drinks a lot. So I picked up this bag of fake food from the Dollar Tree because it had this bottle in it. Um, and I don't want to use this specific bottle. I've been trying to figure out a way to make my own. Uh, I did have some Silly Putty, which Silly Putty apparently does not stick to resin. Uh, but I cannot find it. Cannot figure out where I put it. Um, and when I went back, they didn't have any more. So we're going to try and experiment with some generic Play-Doh. So, we are going to pull out the yellow. It's my least favorite color. And if this doesn't work, then I can just play with what's left at work as a distressing method. Alright, so the lid popped out as soon as I tried to take it out of the package. And, um, it's very rubbery. I think this is dried out. Yeah, this does not smush. Look, it's crumbling. So, um, yeah. Yellow is a bust. I might have to try. I think adding water will help with that. We'll see if, uh, all the colors are like that. So the next one I'm going to pull out then is going to be the white one. And hopefully our white is in better condition. I don't remember Play-Doh being, you know, so crappy. I guess I should have picked the name brand one, but I got greedy. I figured four different kinds gave me more chances of this working. Um, but it looks like I should have gone with the name brand. Alright, so this one's a bit better. This one is a bit squishier. Once again, I do not know if this is going to work. This uh, may stick to the resin. But... We're going to try it anyway. So. I don't know if maybe it just needs to be played with for a bit. Or what. It just. This one's at least more moldable. The other one was just super rubbery. Alright, so working with it a little bit does seem to help. I've been able to somewhat mold it around the bottle. It just really sags. And I don't feel like I'm going to get the best mold out of this. It's just like coming apart. So I definitely learned my lesson not to buy off-brand Play-Doh. That's for sure. Alright, but we're going to go with it anyway and hope we have a good shape. If not, I will have to uh, come back with you guys whenever I have some other Play-Doh. Like the actual brand Play-Doh. So I'm going to take my box cutter here. I'm just going to make a slice
I don't want to wait for this to dry, so we're going to take out the bottle. And as you can see, it's not going to be the best because it's got all these things in it, but... We will uh, take it a moment at a time because I can always sand those out. All right, so I'm going to cut the top off. To, uh, you know, be able to pour the resin in. And I'm going to kind of use my depotting tool to try to press this together. As best as I can. And hope maybe this will hold up. Oops. Looks like I already got makeup all over it too. Alright. So we've got our mold. Alright. So it is... mixed up and I did get some bubbles if you can see that in there but I'm not too worried because I'm going to paint it anyway I can always fill those in alright I'm going to pour this in our mold what sucks is I'm not going to be able to see I'm just going to have to go off of some of the stuff in the cup changes. I didn't put any paper down so hopefully this is not going to leak everywhere. Is it leaking? Um, I've already got resin spots all over my table so all right so it looks like that wasn't even enough resin it might not be changed I've never used a um, plastic container like this kind of plastic so maybe I don't know it's having a strange reaction who knows? It's just an experiment for me. Okay. Um. Still not enough resin. Since it's not clear, it's not so important that there be no bubbles. Hopefully they don't end up along the outer edge, but that can always be sanded out later before painting. It's going to transfer into the final piece. Alright, we finally reached the top. So I'm going to let this sit for a little bit, and uh, we're going to come back and unmold it. Alright, so looks like this experiment might be going sideways. Uh, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it has started bubbling. I also poured a control piece over here with what was left in a star mold. Uh, that way I could see when it turned and uh, assume that my bottle's done. But 
think I may have overfilled this or something else is going on, like a chemical reaction. You never know what's going to happen when you pour resin uh, when you're experimenting. I have experimented a few different ways and had some interesting results. And, uh, yeah. You can just uh, search resin on my channel and you'll find my other videos. Um, but we do see to have, seem to have like a cavity that keeps opening and closing. It's very interesting. I think I'm just going to um, time lapse this next part. So I'm going to leave this going and just speed it up for you guys. so the pub bubbling has appeared to stop so nothing exciting here so um, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the time-lapse for you I don't want you guys to just sit here and see that nothing is changing um, I do have my control piece here Let me turn that where you guys can see it um, it is still super like soft and gummy and slimy um, so I'm assuming it's not done yet and it's still quite warm so either I mixed up the mixture or it's not ready or it's gone bad This still feels pretty sticky too, but it's been, it's been five minutes. You see how that's just super bendy and liquidy. So I'm going to let this sit for a while longer and I'm going to come back. All right. So, um, my control piece is still a little bendy. But I can at least pull it out now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, unmold our test subject here. We're going to do just like we did before. We're going to cut it open. see what we got all right so we've got the general shape here but you can see it's not the best got a lot of the uh, imperfections from the play-doh but it's something to work with I could sand this down and shape this into what I want silly putty definitely is going to be more ideal than using play-doh but when you don't have that then uh, this is an option so experiment considered successful I can make what I need out of this and uh, 
this feels cured properly whereas the little piece is still wet I don't know what caused the bubbling maybe because I poured so much in there it looks like maybe I just overfilled the mold as I said it's been a while since I've used resin so that's probably all it was so I overfilled it so yeah there we go not perfect but it works so I'm gonna call that a uh, thumbs up so thanks so much for watching please subscribe for more content I do beauty and DIY and uh, experiments such as this when it comes to DIY so I'll see you guys later bye I am